those second years. This video is a demonstration of the week four lesson um, on one point perspective. So in the previous weeks we have looked at drawing um, one point perspective cubes. We've done cubes with holes in them and then looking at last week we did um, letter L's and letter J's in one point perspective. So today we're going to go in and look at a couple of other letters. So this shouldn't be any really more challenging than doing the L's and the H's from last week. So this is the worksheet um, that we've got for the I's and the J's. And we've got a vanishing point in the centre. If you've got a printer at home, feel free to download this and print it. Um, if you haven't got a printer at home, draw a vanishing point in the middle of your paper and sketch two letter I's and two letter J's, something similar to what I've got here. So, if I start off with the letter I's, it's the same technique as with the other ones. We're taking all of the corners back to the vanishing point. Now, there's a lot of corners in I's, okay? So, there's quite a number of them we're going to take back to the vanishing point. So just demonstrating here. So that's the main ones that I'm going to take back. But two others that I'm going to take back is this one here, which comes all the way back. And this one up at the back corner here, I'm just going to take lightly because I'm not actually going to see any more than just that bit there. So I'm just going to take that part there. So that looks like it going all the way back to the vanishing point itself. So, um, it looks almost like an eye beam going all the way back, but what we're going to do is we're going to decide upon the depth. So starting with the horizontal line parallel to this, I'm going to decide how deep I want it to be, and I'm going to take a line horizontally there, so I can darken in the bottom of the letter I, like that. And then thinking about whatever it does at the front, remember it must do it down here at the back. So from this point here, it goes straight up to this line. So it's going to go straight up to that line and then it goes in to this line. So I'm going to actually take that one very lightly back. I'm not going to actually see any of it, but it's going to help me draw some of the, the object. So starting at this corner, it goes up to the corresponding line here. So we bring that down. There's my line. It then goes straight in until it reaches this line here. So I'll take that straight in. Now I'm going to do that light because that's not part of the finished drawing. And then, in fact I'll add that line in there so it's nice and dark. So you can see what I mean. And then from there it goes straight up till it hits this line. So I'm not going to see some of that line. The little bit there is behind the object but I'll see the next part of it which is that bit there. And then from there, it goes straight out to the next line and then up. So from the point I was at, it goes horizontally out and then vertically up. And there is the sort of finished parts that I just need to darken in. And there is my finished letter I. So these two small parts here and here were just there to help me draw it. I've not darkened them in, so there's my letter I done as a big deep line. If I do the same at the bottom here, the bottom I, I take all the corners back to the vanishing point. So I work on the same principle, take all, all of the main corners, as you can see I'm drawing here. Two others that I'm going to add in, I'm going to add in this one. Actually, I'm not really going to see any more than just that part of that one, so I've taken that back to the point. And then over here, I'm not going to see any more than that part of that one. So to pick, decide upon my depth, I'm going to make this one a bit closer. Horizontal line first of all, darkening to do the top. Like that. And then these two edges are vertical so I'll just add them in there and there and darken those in like that and then the last line is at this point here it goes across so from this point here I'm going to take it across and that is my finished letter I so the one at the bottom is actually easier than the one at the top because I don't have to do any of these little extra bits so we do a similar thing for the letter J's. So all of the corners back to the vanishing point. I'll 
take this one inside here. And there's no vanishing points over here to take. Let's start at the top. Again, do quite a deep one, horizontal line. Darkening in the top part so that it stands out. And then these two lines are in line with each other, so it's going to be there and there. Sorry, just realised I forgot that one. That should be to there. That's my mistake. There. And I'll darken that one in as well now so that it stands out. And then the last part that I've got to do is at the front, it came across here, so it's going to come across to meet this line and then go vertically up. So there is my finished letter J. And then the same thing with the top one, looking to try and do as many of the corners as possible. This one up at the back here, I'm only going to see that small part of it, so I won't draw all of it. Okay, so there's all the lines go to the vanishing point, and then once again, choose my depth, and we make it not too deep here, horizontal line here, darkening the, the base of it. This line and this line are going straight up, so from here I'll add those two lines in. There we are there. From this line it goes straight across and then straight down. So that's all the main parts added in. Just have to add in some dark lines to make the edges stand out from the construction lines. And there we have our finished drawing. So, eyes and jays finished, four shapes. What I'd look for you to do at that point is you can have a go at adding some color to them. So maybe on each of them, Take a different colour and just add that shape, that shading into it. Now, if you want to be a little bit fancier about it, you might think to yourself, some of the some of the faces won't get as much light as others, so they'll be a little bit darker. So you can lean a bit heavier. So this bit in here might not get as much light. So maybe that's a little bit darker. This bit here might not get as much light because it's underneath. Okay, and we could do that and do our perspective eyes. And we can then go on and do add colour to the other ones. So this is what I'm looking for you to do as lesson four worksheet. I'm looking for you to either download the worksheet if you've got a printer. If not, then sketch the eyes and the jays onto a blank piece of paper, a lined piece of paper, and have a go at sketching in one point perspective these two shapes. Okay, I'll just be one more few seconds just to finish off this shape just to show you my finished eyes there we go and good luck with this worksheet once you've completed it remember take a photograph of it and email it back to your teacher or send it back to your teacher in assignments